Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter they sent out on this Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, They'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. Ever since the Sith quarantine, Javier's cantina is packed with off-worlders. It never used to be that busy. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds.
Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang, <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulkers now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The Swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running it. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain... Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Finest selection of supplies in all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff.
Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Back again? Well, do you have a deck yet? Would you like to play some Pazak? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garouk. I used to be a card shark, one of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. 
great offer if you can afford it. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Don't get me wrong, I've won countless fools. That's why I'm... Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pads so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but it's good. Things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate.
Go Kale Chichi. You got it. I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs>
You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. But I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? The senior Sith officers don't like us fraternizing with the locals. Besides, I don't need you lecturing me for my career choice. Uh, it's okay. I might have overreacted a bit. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there.
What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Look at Nico sitting over there with his Pazak deck. I used to play, you know. But I wasn't very good. I finally sold my deck and gave it up. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. We should keep them from closing this cantina down. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gelrug was playing here. He had some great matches against Niklos, until they banned him for cheating. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Look at them. Mucha shakapaka, yi ki kun no ba muladra ki chichon. Well, people complain, but things under the Sith really aren't so bad. I'm sure we can't leave the planet, but we're still allowed to come. You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub? You know, that quarantine must be tough when the offloaders are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of this. Nice outfit. As an outcast in the Undercity who dressed better than you, it's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gil. I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Look at them. They're dressed like little dirty space wenches. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat can cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. Talk to her to This Theresian ale is and it ages ago. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I will. I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring, not to have some slack-jawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Back again? Didn't you get the message last time? I'm not here to make friends. Talk to the dual organizer if you want a match. Otherwise, leave me alone. Hello there, Offworlder. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the Cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols into the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith, some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years, and I remember every duelist who's been through this cantina. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, and me. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about him. Gerlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. One in a million occurrence. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Gerlon Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same since the accident. But he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. Ice? Eh, she's not much for personality. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady. Popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Twitch? I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very, very good despite his insanity. And beat him. Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone. But I can still hold my own against anyone in here. Except maybe Twitch. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face the same opponent twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. He still hangs around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out alive. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later.
Tava, Uba Maska Duana Chichopa Muska, Kiyokaku! Paco Chichopa, Imba Muli Raduana Ji, Chiska Nichu! Oska, Chiska Nichu! The Hupa Botenia Lo Gigi Piti! Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. Ha 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 ha! Ah, 
Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger! It's 
The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Thank <laughs> you. 
mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Thank you. 